Hi, and welcome to a Memories Made Scrapbooking Process video. I'm designer Jen Gallagher, and today we are going to use some of my most recent purchases to create a layout about myself. Now, sometimes I struggle to create layouts about myself. Um, I picked some pictures off my phone, and I just went with that. I needed to remind myself that I'm special and I have worth, so that's the theme for today. And I encourage you to do the same thing in your layouts and scrapbooking and include yourself. First thing we're going to start with are three tags, and these are cut apart tags from Crate Paper. And I have cut out the marbleized one, and I've cut out the Hello Heart one, and the tag that says you are the best. Now to the top, I've punched out a circle in the top, which is a standard hole punch, and then added some white twine. All of the products that I use in this video, I will list below so that you can shop the supplies or see if you already have them on hand. I'm going to create kind of a loose grid design. So I've put adhesive on the first marbleized tag. And then once I get the placement on that, then I can come back and I can easily place these other tags. And all I want to do is make sure that the bottoms of the tag align and there is the same space between the tags at the top. Now if you don't have these tags, you can do the same design. You just need to use similar shapes, so three rectangles at the top. And then you want to keep the distance between them. Now on the left side, or rather the right side of the layout, we're going to add a couple of strips of paper. And you can see that I've cut them out. Now one of them, I left the right side at a straight line and the left one I angled. And to do that, I will take my paper trimmer and I will create a tilt. So if this was the left side of the page, this line will stay straight, but you can see that I'm cutting from here down here at a diagonal on my paper trimmer. And on the right side, you make sure this line is straight and then you tilt it as much as you wanna tilt it. And that's the way that I get kind of a diagonal line. You could also create just some horizontal lines. I have cut a strip off from the Swiss Dots paper as well as this definition paper. And before I lay them down, I'm going to take a couple of ticket strips that I cut from crepe paper. And you can see that I have just cut out the strips here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to accordion fold, and you could score these if you want. I'm just doing a loose accordion fold just to create some texture in these tickets. So valley folds, fold upwards. Mountain folds, fold down like that. And just do that with each of the strips right along the edge of the ticket. So I've done that for the pink one. I'll just tighten up those score lines a little bit so that when it opens, it looks like a real ticket thing. We're gonna do the same thing. This is the teal. And I picked two colors that match the tags that I've already used on this page. So what you wanna do is just find papers or elements that can be fussy cut that match what you're doing. And mine matched the teal and the pink. And again, if you have a question about a product I've used, I've linked you to the products in the product description below, or the video description rather below. You can also use the link that's provided below to hop on over to my website and shop directly from my website. So there we have two tickets. So we're going to take the pink one first, and we're going to add adhesive right along that back piece. And instead of perfectly placing it down, I want to create some, leave some of the elements a little bit up and a little bit down. So I'll just kind of use my fingers to stick them up and down. Same thing on the teal. Just make sure that there's a little bit of that texture still showing or those folds. Once I get the placement where I like, make sure that they're aligned perfectly. And then we're going to trim off those extra pieces on the right side. Now, if you're concerned about them popping up or not, you can use a stronger adhesive like this. Pull this 
down just a smidge. Okay, now we can go ahead and add our two right side pieces. And this first piece is from Simple Stories. It's from their Reset Girl collection. And I'm going to leave about a quarter inch border on the right side so that this paper shows underneath my Swiss Dots paper. And I went with black and white paper because I want the focus to be on the elements that I've chosen and the photos. So the pattern papers I'm using are rather neutral. Make sure we get this aligned right at the top. And I'm just using some dot adhesive from American Crafts. You can use whatever your favorite one is. To the marbleized tag, I'm going to add this fringe butterfly. And because it's fringed, you can distress the fringes, which I love that they've done this. And these are also from Crate Paper. You could also create your own look with these fringed items by using fringe scissors to cut a sticker that has a shape like this. This already has a foam adhesive on the back and we're going to tilt it right here. Now it's very subtle, it almost you almost don't see this. I did this on purpose because I wanted it to be kind of subtle. And then I typed out this journaling and printed it on cardstock. It says, believe in yourself. And this is going to be a little tag that runs underneath that butterfly. And I wanna make sure that it doesn't cover the message on this tag over here. And then what we'll do is we're going to add some gold tape across, it's some gold washi tape. So if you have anything that has this nice gold foil look, I'm going to add that. And for some reason, this particular tape is thin and so it tends to tear a little bit. So I pull a little bit off to start it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cover those. And then I'm gonna straight trim it on this side so that it fits. Actually, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna right align that perfectly. And I'm gonna tear this a little more. Okay, so I'm adding some more gold foil. There's gold foil in the, the butterfly, and I'm adding some gold foil tape. You can see the shimmer and shine there. I'm also going to add some twine to this ticket to this edge here. I'm going to pull that up a little bit and wrap it about three times around. I want to say this is about eight inches worth of twine. And I'll stick that back down and I can tie this into a knot or a bow depending on what I want. I just want to add some texture to that ticket. And it looks like that ticket piece keeps popping up so I'm going to go back in with some stronger adhesive to make sure that it sticks on my page. I'm just going to use some glue dots to hold it in place. So sometimes if I find something isn't working, I'll just come back and I'll adjust it. Then up here, we're going to add some buttons and I'm not going to tie twine on them. Sometimes I do, uh, this time I'm not. I just want the loose texture. And they're just in a teal color for my stash that matches the teal of the rest of the page. I'm going to take a white doily, bringing in some more texture, and I'm only going to add adhesive to that center part. Doilies are notoriously fragile, and I just don't want this breaking. Okay, like I said before, I printed out some pictures. These are from my phone, and with phone pictures, depending on the phone that you have, the pictures may not be as high quality as maybe your regular camera, so just print them at a size where they don't look too pixelated. And because I was taking some selfies, and I'm not fabulous at taking selfies, I took several and then I just picked a few of them. Even though they look like they're the same photo, they're actually not. I'm telling you secrets about my lack of skills here. Then I have a third photo to which I've stuck to the back of two chipboard stickers. They are award pennants, and they're from Crate Paper. The pennant stickers are sticky, but the photo isn't. And I'm going to tuck that photo underneath the tickets as much as possible. And I'm tilting these photos a little bit just to make them kind of interesting. I'll 
pull that up a little bit. All right, so then I'm going to add some gold paper clips to my photo. And I'm going to do, when I do a paper clip, I usually do one so the big part of the paper clip shows, and then the other one I do the smaller. And we'll scooch them really close together so you can see all the little gold elements that are starting to form here on my page. Then behind these two pieces, I'm going to add another chipboard piece from the same sticker. And I want it to slightly overlap that tape. For the title, I'm using a die cut from One Canoe 2. It is gold foil and it says lovely. And this makes the title placement really easy. I'm just adding some adhesive to it. And I'm gonna overlap the photo enough. Don't cover any part of the face. And then I have printed out some journaling that is meaningful to me. And because I have journaling up here, I'm going to bring some journaling down here. I'm going to overlap the bottom photo here, the photo on the right. And one thing I want to advise is when you're doing journaling on strips, make sure you put them down in the order that they go. Sometimes I've gotten a page done and I went back and realized that the journaling strips were out of order. So just make sure that you watch that. And if you get adhesive like this, sometimes I get extra adhesive. Dot adhesive is great because it just rubs right off. You can just rub that right off right there. So the journaling says, sometimes in the middle of hard things, it's tough to see your own self-worth. You are beautiful, you have worth, you mean the world to some very special people. So again, I told you it's hard for me to do layouts about myself, but I wanted to leave a message for myself. And then to finish off the page, I'm gonna use some enamel dots from Echo Park paper, and I'm going to use them in that darker teal color. And then I'm going to add a few here at the top to the tack here. So here's a layout that documents some feelings I have about myself. I went with a white cardstock background and brought in a lot of foil elements. If you have any questions about how I have layered or created this layout, you can leave them in the video comments below. To see additional projects, visit jengallagher.com.